here to uh, have the results um, uh, video uh, from last night's high-end red wine blind tasting. So, what we ended up doing is 15 wines, and the other video you'll find on the home pages of Post Parade, so you can see all the entries. We we had a fantastic wine tasting last night, and uh, very very exciting. Um, we promised you the top five, but it turns out we're only going to give you the top four because uh, the fifth wine tied with a number of other wines. Um, the interesting thing about it is we had all winners, really. Uh, these four wines are the most distinctive wines of the group. The other wines that are not in the top four finished with either 92 or 91 points, and we strongly encourage you to check out those reviews as we post them on the website. So, let us first start with wine number four, our fourth place finisher. Our fourth place finisher was the 2007 Altus, which was a wine, uh, a new wine for us. This is from the folks that make Maris, which has always done well with us in the past. And, um, and, and this wine did very, very well. And this also, by the way, is the bargain wine of the evening. This was the lowest cost entry in the whole tasting at $70. And, and this wine, only 973 cases, so it might be a little bit tricky to find, but this wine was uh, very distinctive and did very well with the panel. And um, this wine came in with 93 points. So this is our fourth base wine. Our third place wine, no secret or no surprise to probably most people that know this wine, the Joseph Phelps Insignia. Now this, this was the most expensive wine at $225 a bottle. Um, this wine uh, did very well. This also finished with, um, with uh, 93 points and finished in, um, and finished in third place. So we were very, uh, very impressed with that. It wasn't as huge as it's been in the past, uh, this being the 07. I remember the 06 being a really, really huge wine, but it, it, it clearly was very popular uh, and very distinguished uh, amongst the group. So now we're down to our final two wines. Uh, which one finished in second? And the second place finisher was... The Scarecrow. 2007 Scarecrow. The group uh, came to a consensus and scored this wine uh, 94 points. Um, it, we didn't quite reach Robert Parker's 100-point uh, score, but uh, finished in second place with 94 points from the panel. Uh, very, very impressive wine from uh, the Rutherford region of uh, Napa Valley, and clearly our second-place wine. And now, for our winning wine, which scored 95 points from the panel, both these two wines in our scoring system qualify as excellent. Our winning wine and the ultimate Christmas wine giving gift, if you can afford it, <laughs> is the Schaefer Hillside Select 2006. The only 2006 in the in the tasting, but it, this is their current vintage. So, the Hillside Select from Schaefer 2006. Like I said, 95 points. This wine is our winner right out in front here, move these guys over. And this is our winner, the Schaefer Hillside Select. So can't say enough great things about it as I did last night. I actually scored it a smidge higher than the panel score uh, myself. It clearly was my favorite wine. A lot of blueberry notes, which uh, uh, many of the panelists said, oh, this one's gonna win. Uh, this, uh, this definitely uh, had a lot of uh, great flavors and uh, was very distinguished and, and stood out amongst the crowd. So that's it. That's our results. Um, again, all the other wines scored 92 or 91 points. Certainly no duds amongst this, uh, this group. And uh, check out all the results, all the reviews on kenswineguide.com.